market's long been pushing for a smarter way, a more efficient way for lighting controls. Uh, and moving away from the centrally controlled addressable paradigm to a more autonomous system, which is completely wireless and requires no commissioning whatsoever, where the behaviour of the lights is completely autonomous, operates as a system, but there's no external control wiring or any external infrastructure outside of the light fixture itself. How you do this is by sharing information between the light fixtures, in, in essence creating a smart sensor network that operates, it shares information between each other and makes uh, completely individual decisions. We at Organic Response have developed a system that completely embodies this concept based on the way that fish uh, school and work together as a system. If you look at them, it consists of a number of individual entities. However, zoom out and you have this beautifully elegant system. The smart sensor network has an incredible value proposition to a whole bunch of other systems within a building because that occupancy information that gets shared can be used for all the other systems and sending information into these autonomous systems is also incredibly simple and incredibly accessible. The most exciting thing Osram is showing on this exhibition is Lightify, connected lighting system solution for home and office applications. Light is networked among each other and can be controlled by smart devices like smart apps, smartphones, by anyone, very easy, from anywhere in the world. So it's really a very flexible and easy solution. I imagine, imagine you, you know, there's different things in life. You, you want to have cozy light when you want to relax. You want to have bright light when you work. And everyone has a kind of well-being light, the, the light you like most to relax. And you can just create that light scene with the app. You can store the scene in your app. And you can just recall it at any time you feel like you want to relax. The Prevalet Flex Linear takes a known idea from the constant voltage world and just transfer it into the high efficient world of constant current operation. With that product here, we're offering a solution that will end up in something like 150 lumen per watt. And uh, it is, like we say, giving you a lot of flexibility to play with. The indoor positioning system is an example of our connected lighting promise where we uh, say that actually lighting can do more than just illumination. It brings value beyond illumination. And with this, the lighting infrastructure can be leveraged for indoor positioning. It basically means that the light is sending a code about where it is, the location code. And with that, the smart device that the user is using knows where it is on the shop floor, on, on the hospital floor, on the office floor. In this example, the light is actually sending a code in, uh, through very high pulse modulation of the light, uh, which is recognized by the camera of the smart device, uh, which is helped with our SDK or an API that we, that we bring to the uh, user, such that the app builder can actually detect the code from the light. We see a lot of value for uh, retailers, for example, to, uh, to bring location-based services to their shoppers, um, on-shelf or near-shelf couponing, uh, product finding, uh, bringing relevant information to the people when it really matters. Uh, but we also see applications in museums or in airports or hospitals, everywhere where the people actually want to have a better experience, better shopping experience or a better experience uh, in the uh, space that they are using. Today we introduce uh, the bow, which consists of uh, three downlight elements and two uplight elements. We use a flexible LED tape and uh, we want to show the flexibility of the LED in general. You can also have this one not only with an opal uh, diffuser but with a microprismatic structure. So you can use it in a conference room or even in rooms where you need uh, the non-glare uh, to, to work with a uh, computer or something like that. Samsung is introducing a couple of new products this year. We talk about the flip chip technology and the FCOM modules. It's definitely a new thing to do in the market. We talk about, for 2015, Ganon Silicon, and with the 30 years of experience in the with the silicon activities, I think that's definitely something for the lighting industry to get as a new technology. 2016, we want to focus on Nano. Nano, for us, is the way of really targeting the lighting industry. So I have a specific wavelength without phosphor and get that into the market. So if you look at the uh, flip chip technology, it's definitely an easier way for our customers to get our products designed in. If you look at the Ganon silicon technology, 
bigger wafers, better yield, uh, higher lumen performance. I think it's a, it's a better way of getting, let's say, driving the lumens per dollar at a cost-efficient way to get the LED lighting really adopted for the bigger companies. If you look at the nanotechnology, without having the phosphor and really focusing on having that specific light point, what everyone is looking for, that is what we see as the strength of Samsung for the years ahead. My favorite product is Astro. It's an outdoor lighting fixture which combines the possibility to use it as a street lighting furniture with a combination of a perfect LED lighting luminaire. It gives cities the possibility to use a luminaire and combine it to uh, different corporate identities with their personality in the city. Our coolest product at all, of course, is Q. Q is a lighting tool. It's, a, it's something in between a luminaire and a lamp. It's, Day, the time of LED, it allows the planner to do whatever he wants. He can adjust it in different mounting options, or can put it together as a great object, or you can use only one on a single small roof. So it's absolutely free to work with it however he wants. I'd like to introduce you a new sensor technology from Steinel, which gives the uh, customers more um, possibilities in sensor technologies. So it's a camera-based system which takes uh, three photos a second and checks uh, if a human being is present. So we uh, learned a human being model into the sensor and it's checking how many people are present. So we have a totally new um, information with the sensor systems like yeah, number of people and you can use it for many different applications like controlling HVAC uh, in shop systems for advertisements or other different things. We believe that street lighting is a key factor for realizing Toshiba Group strategy for the city of the future. New LED technology is a digital technology that allows us to combine gateways, network and software. In that sense, we believe that the street lighting will be the network for the city of the future. The most interesting uh, product on our light and building for office is the Lateral Plus. What you can see here, it's a very, very thin suspended luminaire, only 40 millimeters high. And uh, if you switch it off, it's transparent between the frame. And very interesting too is uh, no suspension. So it fits in any, any architectural environment. What is also very important is uh, the indirect part of the light is so wide that even the height of the room, it doesn't matter where you place it. Because if you place it uh, close to the ceiling normally, because the room ceiling is very narrow, uh, you always get problems with the light uh, on the ceiling itself, how it looks like. You see bright spots and so on. But it's such a homogeneous light that, you, that the ceiling looks perfect. The new Pearl White this is a totally new product in the market. It is specially made for the presentation. So the presentation for goods needs the best light in terms of quality, in terms of color rendering, and also in terms of efficiency. So the end, our, you, and our end user will not make big difference between the light sort. You want to have the best one. And with this new generation, we have the first chance to make a brilliant light presentation. That means you have more more deepness, more, more contour, more brilliance to the product and also you will have a better view on, the, on these color effects with that light. We have no UV that makes the protection of your product, that makes that you have a long time with that light, with the product, with no uh, damage of textile, with no problem with food and instead of metal halide and the others. What we have as well is we have the 50,000 50, lifetime with 90% of the lumen output and we reach a color rendering which is higher than 90. So two different color temperatures will be available that we have 3000 and 4000 Kelvin. So this is the new platform. It is, starts with 20 watt, that is the, 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 the smallest wattage and it will goes up to 50 watt uh, and during the lay this year we will get a lot of big um, varieties in, in these spectrums as well. In my opinion, the coolest thing at the XL stand here at the Leiden building in Frankfurt is our new MoveIt system. 
We have launched the MoveIt system two years ago uh, at the Leipzig building in Frankfurt, but now we have a lot of more options. The MoveIt system is a special track light system. The track is integrated in an aluminium profile. You can have the profile with a wire of 25 or 45 millimeter, and you can integrate a lot of uh, different insets. And these different insets has different light technical functions. So we have uh, brilliant insets to focus or for zonal uh, illumination of things. We have opal insets for a, a wide light distribution for homo homogeneous illumination. We have uh, wall washers to illuminate walls, especially for museums. Uh, and we have pendant lights, which we see here. We at Cicado believe that the industry is going to move towards a more integrated approach that simplifies the life of the OEMs, the fixture manufacturers, while adding lots of additional value for the end users. One of the things we do is integrate sensors into the module that will allow lots of additional data to be generated. For example, in the retail application, we now allow the retailer to know where the people move in their space because we integrated very simple data sensors into the module. The beauty is, the lights already have power. If there's no people, you don't need the power. So now those, those data sensors just get power automatically, and it goes through either a wired or wireless protocol directly to the end user. Uh, at the moment, Zoomtop is mainly in, in the offices, in the professional building, and especially for that and this individuality thinking, we developed a, known, a new lighting management system, which is called Lightcom, which is perfectly supporting this individuality and flexibility in the certain projects. And for that, in Lightcom, we developed a so-called app concept. This means that there are flexible individual apps which enables you to control your light according to your needs at any point of time. Imagine that you have your mobile phone controlling your light at the push of a button. You just put it out and you can control your light according to the task you have and according to the task you need at the moment.